Welcome back to my channel you guys. I'm Hannah and this is So Much Design with Hannah. In this video today we're doing another little shopping vlog to Harrods in London and I can guarantee you that you won't be disappointed. There is so many, many, many stunning luxury bags in this video. It's all about the bag, bag, bag. It's all about the bag. And we have got designers like Alexander McQueen, Bulgari, Fendi, Louis Vuitton and more. So stay tuned. I'm sure you will enjoy this if you love a handbag and if you love luxury designer handbags in particular. This video has got so much eye candy for you. Enjoy you guys. First up, Bulgari with their fabulous handbags, you guys. Look at these beauties. And the Serpenti was turning 75 years old, so there was a very special display at Harrods. Here are some of the jewellery. Absolutely love these watches. I'm dreaming of one of these one day, you never know. Bulgari jewellery just makes your heart skip a beat. Look at these stunners. Harrods always have some really special, exclusive handbags from Bulgari, and this time was no exception. If you've watched my channel before, you know I'm in love with a buyer bag and I'm still considering the blue. But then this sparkling number arrived. What do you guys think? And look at this denim beauty, the serpentine pouch in denim. So you even have the shoulder. Bulgari had a lot of silver bags. And look at the texture on this one, you guys. It's like brushed silver. And then, of course, the kind of mirror glass silver bags, too. They are truly wonderful. And what do you think of this stunner? Look at the gold hardware. Wow. The thing about Bulgari bags is that they are like a piece of jewellery. The craftsmanship is just outstanding. I love them, love them, love them. Look at the design of this top handle with the Serpenti snake head just sitting there. I mean, the design is fabulous, you guys. Look how beautiful it is. Another jewelry brand with bags, Cartier, with these panther bags. What do you think of these? Um, not so much for me, you guys. I think the clasp was better on this particular style with the CCs. Yeah, they are certainly trying. I think the price point is a bit high though. What do you think? Wow, look at this, you guys. Is this the most beautiful clutch ever? I can't believe the colours, the design. This is just amazing. What a clutch. 
forms a really love this Alexander McQueen clutch. The design and the colours is beautiful. And you know me, I love blue and look at the sparkle on this one. I really do think Alexander McQueen is pushing the boundaries here with these very artistic clutches. Look at this one, you guys. The craftsmanship. Wow, my breath is being absolutely lovely. And also, this is very easy color because it's like a kind of beige. Yeah, neutral color, so it's very easy. There's only two words. Love it, love it, absolutely love it. No one does it quite like Dior when it comes to embroidery. Look at this elephant on this Lady Dior. And this bag, you guys, is a new Dior bag with top handle and beading. Isn't it lovely? And I absolutely love the Cara bag. And they've put out this version with lovely pearls all over, pink and black. Yeah. It's beautiful. But this one, you guys, has my heart. Wow. Fendi, 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 loving this baguette. What a stunner. What an absolute stunner. And this colour is nice too. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Colours, colours, colours. Love them. But I prefer this size. Wonderful. If you're looking for a pink handbag, Fendi has got lots to offer right now. If you felt the medium sunshine tote, was too big, they now have a small size. And here's the medium with the most beautiful embroidery. It is a stunner. You know I love the Fendi Graphy, and there's a new size in town. And it's a mini, and it's got a strap. Yeah. There are quite a few new peekaboos as well. Look at this lovely one, you guys, with the leather trim. Love it. Really pretty. And some matching shoes. And here's my favourite. The embroidery on this is just stunning.
time for a bit of Louis Vuitton. Let's see what they've got. Has so many beautiful Capucines bags. But this new one with the wave on the bottom, not for me. Glorious blue, beautiful Cousin bag in blue, love it. They still have some Kusama bags, so if you're after one, Harrods have got some. Haven't seen this tote bag before. It's quite nice, really spacious, like the interior. And it's got this little extra pocket at the front. Very nice, actually. So off the many beautiful luxury handbags that I showed you in this latest footage from Harrods. Which one stole your heart? I know which ones stole mine. So let's have a little chat about those you guys because I think some of them, hmm, I mean, what can I say? Our wish list keeps on growing you guys and if you haven't guessed already <laughs> it had to be one of the Alexander McQueen clutches they are just outstanding the design the craftsmanship the color choices wow I have to say they are the most stunning clutches probably in the market. Tell me if you disagree with that. But I do think that they are outstanding. They're so unique. They are absolutely pieces of art. Something that you would buy and treasure for a lifetime. I think my only problem, aside from the price, is that um, I just don't have the occasions to wear them. Those days are over really where I kind of get invited to to fancy things, um, not very often. Really happens very, very rarely, so I think it would just be sitting on my shelf and that would be such a shame. But there was one outstanding Alexander McQueen clutch, I think. The little sea monster, the little cutie, the little urchin, the little kind of sea worldly like beautiful colors, sparkles and little tentacles, whatever you call them. Absolutely lovely. It was a stunning bag in real life, but I can tell you one thing. It was super heavy, so heavy, you guys. Uh, you would need a little bit of a muscle uh, to be carrying that all day, um, or even if it was just for a couple of hours in the evening. We were discussing with the um, sales associate that al almost you needed uh, somebody to be carrying it for you. Um, but anyway, all good fun. But that was so beautiful the colors it just drew me in straight away like a little yeah yeah I, i'm going to call it a little sea urchin i know sea urchins don't have like spikes like that but the shape maybe um or maybe the design inspiration was from corals it could also look a bit like colorful corals um yeah let me know what you think it looked like but i think it was stunning you guys the other thing that really really caught my eye of the alexander mcqueen clutches 
is the one that kind of had the rain, the snow, the ice drops, you know, falling down. Wow. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a favourite? Did one of them steal your heart too? Just like mine has been stolen. So, um, yeah, I think uh, an Alexander McQueen clutch would be a lovely thing to have in my collection. But there are many bags probably ahead of that. Um, not probably. There is. My wish list is terrible. It's so long. Maybe I need to do a video about what's on my wish list. I was thinking to do that. Um, let me know in the comments if that would be of interest. Um, but yeah, so that clutch. Ooh, wow. Wowzers. The design. Everything. Everything that you want in a beautifully designed bag. Anything that you want in a luxury piece, in a indulgent handbag, unique item that nobody else is going to be walking around with. That handbag is it, you guys. And it was a limited edition. The lady said there was only one in the UK and three worldwide. And I can see why. It would have taken a long time to design and create that bag. Of course, it will come as no surprise to you guys that Fendi always steals my heart. And I was a bit skeptical. I'll, I'll, hmm, I'll tell you this. I was a bit skeptical when uh, my sales associate told me that they were bringing out this new bag shape and she showed me a photo of it. And of course, the bag I'm talking about is this one, the come on bag or come on, come on, come on bag, as I like to call it. <laughs> yeah, silly, I know. Um, but I do like to sing to all of the bags and to my cat's tea. Um, yeah, anyway. So the come on bag actually is a really lovely bag. And I've seen it three, four times now. And um, the next thing, of course, I have to do is actually try it on, which I haven't done yet. Uh, that will happen next time I go to Fendi, no doubt, because I want to work out whether the nano version is way too small, she says, who loves the little baguette in the nano. Hmm, yeah which doesn't fit anything apart from a card and uh, a lipstick. I suspect that the Nano in the Come On is going to be very similar, but I want to try it on because the one, and I said that in my video with the Fendi Autumn Winter Collection, which I'll link here, um, the color that I would love is the red. And it at the moment, it looks like the red is only out in the Nano, in the Come On bag. I would like either the Mini or the Small. I think that's the names of them. Anyway, the size up and the size up from that. Um, I would prefer that because they are a little bit more practical. What I like about the bag is I think it is one of those bags that would be really great for every day. So at the moment, my go-to bags for every day pretty much are my Stelly McCartney bags. Um, because they are carefree, I throw them on, throw them off. Doesn't matter what happens in between, to be honest. If they get bashed or... Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. And uh, they are just so durable. I created a bit of a, a review. Again, I will link it here for anyone who are interested. Um, but I'm seeing this come on back as a, not a replacement of the Stella McCartney because I love it too much, but another alternative and a little bit more dressy um, though day to day because it's not a camera bag, but it is this kind of satchel shape. And the quality of the leather, you guys, is really lovely. Um, so yeah, next 
I'll have to try it on. And the other one that I really have my eyes on from Fendi at the minute, I really like the one that they brought out for the baguette where you've got the logo and the little sequence on top. Mm. It's pretty. And they also have that out in the peekaboo. That is super pretty too. Um, so those two are also a couple that I really want to try on when I can. And uh, I also really, really love the um, design they have out currently where they have got this embroidery. They've got it on the uh, sunshine tote, I think, and also on the peekaboo. And I really want a, yeah, that sounds bad. I would love to own, I would love to own a peekaboo in the mini or the small, but I'm not really keen on having it in a white color. I really would like it in a darker color or a more of a bright poppy color. And the one with the embroidery at the minute are only kind of in a pale cream or light. It might be really, really light pink, but I think it's too light, you guys. Um, I just, I would be too scared using it, um, which would mean that I would buy it and then I would get no use out of it, which is not great at all. So those are the ones that are really high on my list from Fendi. Um, there are more, there are more. And the one that probably <laughs> is at the top, top of the list is the uh, Maxi Baguette in the black. Yeah, I since I tried that on at Fendi, um, it is still on my mind so and I still think it could be my winter bag maybe um, let's see decisions decisions you guys I always say it so difficult to make those decisions it would be great to hear from you guys what's on your list and if any of the bags that were in in this little shopping vlog are on your list let me know or even if you own one of them it would be great to find out what do you think of them? Would you recommend it? Yeah, please share with me and the rest of our little design and luxury obsessed community here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little shopping vlog from Harrods and that you loved all of the bags, bags, bags. And please give this video your thumbs up love if you enjoyed it and of course if you're new and you have yet to subscribe to my channel please hit that little notification bell it would mean the world to me and thank you so much to all of my current subscribers you mean the world i hope you enjoyed have a fabulous day wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in my next video thank you guys bye now